Hi, so I am really excited because this year I'm gonna go to the Young Adult Literature Convention in London, not only by myself, but also with my very good YouTube friends from the Netherlands. So we have Brit from Basically Brit, Michelle from Books Michelle, Leonie from the book Leo, and Leora from Books with Leo. I know their names are so confusing. They get that all the time. <laughs> this has been something that I've been so excited for because basically this is like the European more low-key version of BookCon or what that used to be because it doesn't exist anymore, which is a little bit more easy to travel to from the Netherlands. We are just so excited to be staying in London for a little bit, but of course I am all also really excited to meet all of my booktube friends at the convention, perhaps meet some of you guys, but also to get my books signed by the authors that will be there. A couple of days, weeks ago, the whole schedule for Yelk was put on their website and I thought maybe I need to see if I recognize any of the authors and if not, maybe I should read some of their work. So basically, welcome to my Yelk TBR. Yelk? Yalk? I just... I don't know how to say it with my American accent. I have no clue. <laughs> Turn around every now and then I get a little bit nervous. Hi, I look so tiny. Wait, let me fix the setup. So let's put little annotations anywhere for like who I want to see and meet and my favorites. So let's go to Friday. First off, I see here Karen M. McManus and I've only read two of her books. One of Us is Lying and the sequel? Was it the sequel? Okay, only gonna look at people who I've already read. Okay, yes, yes, yes. One of my most favorite authors, I've literally only read one of her books, which I really loved, but I feel like Juno Dawson is one of my favorite authors. So for Saturday, wait, they have Cassandra Clare coming? I have literally only read the first two books in the Mortal Instruments series and I've unhauled those. So I'm sorry, Cassie Clare, but I'm not gonna do that. <gasps> Samantha Shannon. Okay, I also have not read any of her books. I'm totally not staying with the subject because I was talking about people that I already love and I see one of them and that is Holly Bourne. If you have been following my channel for a while, you know that I absolutely adore her books and her work means a lot to me because I feel like she really makes mental health issues like something that we can talk about, like a subject that's not a taboo and especially for like young people. I will be bringing my copy of Am I Normal Yet by her because it definitely made me realize some stuff about some of my friends actually when I read this book and I just love the whole Spencer Club trilogy so I'm gonna get this book signed. You know Dawson's book that I absolutely adored, Meat Market, is actually at Leora's place because she borrowed it from me and she still hasn't read it so Leora I'm coming for you in this video. Pick it up, it's amazing, and take it with you to Yelp because I wanna get my copy signed, honey. And on Sunday, oh my gosh, if this would be possible, but I just feel like it's not gonna happen. I'm just gonna like mentally prepare myself for failure because oh my gosh, would I love to meet Ellis Oseman. They have been my favorite author for so long right now. Around two and a half years ago, I read my first Ellis Oseman book and it sparked a love for me that I haven't been able to let go of and that is Radio Silence. I own one of the most ugly covers of this book ever. I just, I just really don't like faces on covers. It's nothing personal, but this book made me realize so much about my own personal journey in life. At the time I did a bachelor's degree, which totally did not fit with me. And this book made me feel so comforted. It made me feel like someone gave me a hug and told me that my whole situation around that was okay. And that I still had time to figure out life. And it kind of, um, yeah, reassured me that if I switched paths, which I did, that's also good. And like, you have lots of time, girl. It's gonna be fine. This book, I'm gonna take with me to Yelp because it just means so much to me. Thank you, Ellis Oseman. But right now with the whole like Heartstopper coming out on Netflix, I feel like it's gonna be impossible to meet them and get my book signed by them. We shall see how it goes. I think like Ellis Oseman together with Juno Dawson and Holly Bourne is like my top three people that I would love to meet. Okay, I found all the authors whose books I already own that I might want to pick up. I'm just gonna grab the whole stack and then we're gonna make a selection of who but I will actually pick up. I mean, the pile is growing of all the books that I could read before Yelp, but I will never be able to do that. <laughs> I have the whole pile here. <laughs> 
Let's talk about some books, shall we? Okay, so <laughs> this is the pile of books that I own here, not in my dorm. I also have two other books in my dorm that I own, which I would love to read. Uh, before Yuck would come out, well, this would be like the ideal setting. I, I, I don't have the time to read 10 books. That would literally take me four months or something. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to make a selection. I own State of Sorrow by Melinda Salisbury. I've received this book in my Fairy Loot box four years ago and have never thought of picking it up. So it's now something that sparks my interest. I was super interested in Witches Steeped in Gold by CNN Smart. This is a Jamaican inspired fantasy, but ever since this book has been published, it hasn't received such amazing reviews and I'm not in the headspace right now to push through a book that I'm like barely just enjoying and this is completely based off of review so I know that this is kind of like shallow of me to not pick up this book because of that but I only want to like pick up books that seem like a perfect read to me right now so I will definitely be picking up one of Sarah Bernard's books I have owned this book on my TBR shelves for like ever and ever and I've recently added Destination Anywhere to this one because I've been sent this book by the publisher a couple of months ago. I'm unsure of which one I would like to pick up because this is more of her like earlier work and it mainly focuses on friendship. Caddy and Rosie have always been inseparable but that was before Suzanne. Now Caddy wants to be more than just the quiet one. She wants something to happen. Suzanne is trying to escape her past and be someone different. Someone free. But sometimes downward spirals have a momentum of their own and no one can break your heart like a best friend and I feel like there are not enough like best friend friendship relationship stories like why a contemporary is mostly focus on relationships with like a romantic partner so I'm very interested to pick this one up but I'm leaning more towards picking up beautiful broken things so let's put it on my TBR then when I was looking at the schedule again I also found that Catherine Weber is coming and again this is a book that has been on my TBR for like five years um, and I feel like this would be the final like push to finally get me to pick this one up and this one is called Wing Jones it says here with a grandmother from China and another from Ghana 15 year old Wing Jones is often caught between worlds. When tragedy strikes, she discovers an extraordinary talent she never knew she had. Wing's running could bring her family everything it needs. It could also keep Wing from the one thing she truly wants. Oof, I love me like a good YA contemporary and I feel like this one will have lots of difficult family dynamics, also expectations from your family who probably come from like a different culture than the one that you are currently growing up in and how that kind of like clashes and there will probably be some self-growth in this book as well so I should do it I need to put this on my TBR then we have Bridget Kammerer and A Curse So Dark and Lonely is also a fairy loot book but I received a lot of years ago and this is like a Beauty and the Beast inspired retelling but I am currently reading like A Court of Mist and Fury and that is also a Beauty and the Beast retelling and I just don't know if I can handle any more retellings but I also recently received from Fairy Loot Defy the Night by her. This is another like first book in a new fantasy series. It is about a kingdom divided by corruption, the prince desperately holding it together and the girl ready to bring it all crashing down and I believe that there is like a sickness in the kingdom and there is like a cure but it is in very limited capacity. The thing is I just don't know if I want to like pick up another like fantasy series right now because I don't think the sequels are out yet and I know myself honey <laughs> if the series doesn't have like any sequels to it I will definitely not be continuing on with it immediately and then I will forget the details when the sequel does come out and I have to reread the whole book so I'm not gonna put myself through that whole extravaganza again and then we have Scythe by Neil Schusterman this is the first book in I feel like was it an apocalyptic or like a dystopian fantasy series about death and how the people in this world aren't able to die but you have a scythe who does the killing for the people because probably overpopulation and stuff like that I don't know what if death was the only thing left to control in a perfect world the only way to die is to be gleaned by a professional scythe when Citra and Rowan are chosen to be apprentice scythes they know they have no option but to learn the art of killing however the terrifying responsibility of choosing their victims is just the start corruption is the order of the day and Citra and Rowan need to stick together to fight it then they are told that one of them will have to glean the other Okay, Neil Schusterman, you got my attention. Again, a trilogy, but all the books are out. So that's good. And a lot of my friends have actually really enjoyed this series. Should I do it? Should I read the first book in this trilogy? 
also let me know your thoughts and opinions on it and whether you think I should start it whether I would like it. So I feel like I have five books on my TBR that I would really like to get to before y'all. I better get going because I don't read that quickly and it's already happening in one and a half months. So hoping, wishing, praying that I will be able to do it, but doubting myself, yes, I am. <laughs> Let me know in the comments down below whether you are going to Yalk. I would be so excited to know who's all coming and which books on my TBR should I prioritize. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking somewhere here on the screen or on the button down below. And hopefully I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.